Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be adding fire to whatever you want. I just figured I'd go over a couple of ways that fire footage is usually uh, distributed and how you can add those to your footage easily. So right here I have this outside layer. You can see right in there. And that's just a picture. You can use video, you can use whatever you want, but I have a picture and it's going to be easy for me to do that. So one, the first way you might see your fire is, here's an example from Detonation Films, is with a black background. Now, black backgrounds are fine, but a lot of people will try to get rid of the background by using the keying extract and just trying to take out the black which it looks really bad when you do that so you you really don't want to do that so what you want to do is you want to go down to mode right here it's your blending modes and if you can't see that click toggle switches and modes till this shows up now for this there's a couple of options you can hit add and that looks that looks pretty good right there I mean I think yeah, that's, that's nice. That looks good. Except for all these ugly little green flashing things that, like, you know, let's see if we can get a frame that has one on it. Yeah, right there. See those? Those are terrible. So, if you have that in your footage, this is footage from Detonation Films. I'll link the stuff in the description. Um, what you can do is go to keying, key light, and then take your little eyedropper and click on those. That should get rid of them. And it might change the color of your fire a little bit, but I'm really liking this, and I think that'll work for that type of footage. Now, it's a little choppy because it's not processed. There we go. So that's one thing you can do. The, the other way fire footage is usually distributed is uh, like this. Here, I'll get rid of that and grab my other footage. This fire is pretty high quality. It's not bad. It's from Detonation Films again. Propane ground burst. And once we get rid of the uh, little beginning screen, you can see it's already keyed. And that'll usually say pre-keyed. And that just means there's no background and it's easy to drop right on top. Like that. But that's not perfect because there is the color is just not quite on so you want to maybe well what I would do to add this is grab effect color correction and say curves and then you just want to match this to the background as well as possible I would just take out a little bit of that contrast that's not bad maybe hit T click on the layer bring the opacity down just a tad, like maybe down to 90%. Um, and that, that looks pretty good. We can integrate it farther by adding a glow. And you can do this with any kind as long as you've already got it keyed out, background's gone first. Just um, put it, put another thing behind it, put duplicate the layer with Command D or Control D, scale it up, and put it behind the other layer. Now, click on this. Uh, Propane burst, the bottom one that's bigger, and hit effect, blur, and sharpen, Gaussian blur. Now you can hold down shift to make this go faster. Just get a fairly large amount of blur on that to, uh, actually now I'm going to get rid of this curves effect because it's making it less orange. Yeah, there, see, you can kind of get a little bit of a glow there that'll follow the footage now when we watch it. Yeah, see how that's glowing right there? That looks that looks good. So I'm fairly happy with that. The glow, it it's matching up with the background. And you can do this with the other blend mode thing. And then another trick with the ones that have a black background, like this, remember, is you can just change the mode to something that you like so 
you could set the blend mode to lighten if that you think that looks better that can be good sometimes it's a little bit red so again effect color correction curves to adjust it if you had picked this oh yeah there that's not bad uh, there I think yeah so that's another thing you can do and I'll just demonstrate how you can use the glow again so just click on that command D scale make that a little bit bigger effect blur and sharpen Gaussian blur blow way out like that and that, that'll just give it a little bit of a glow match the surroundings so yeah that's that's pretty much how you do it and yeah that now we've got fire it's in the background and that's pretty much all you need for a fire scene I would maybe add some crackling sound effects you can get go to freesound.com that's a great place to get them and then since this is a picture I would also make it move around a little bit as well as these so what I'll, what I would do to give it a little like handheld motion is select all of these you can hit command A to select them all right click on there and hit pre-compose name this whatever you want fire tutorial do for me and now those are all pre-composed in there yeah so or just fire that will work as well you can change the name later by hitting enter on there but now to add a little motion I will click S for scale scale it up a little bit and I will try grabbing the motion brush and I think that'll do so hit window if you don't have motion sketch up over in this right side hit motion sketch and that should bring it up over here you can drag this up to get a little more room if that's what you need but I like that so I did capture speed at 100% give it a little bit of smoothing and start capture again and just draw a little bit around this to make it look like handheld motion draw where you want it to go but try to keep that outer tan outline outside of the black and that's why I scaled it up now you'll see once this is done I'll have a little bit of handheld motion so that's yeah see now it's moving a little bit that gives it handheld motion there's another way to do that I will try to cover it in another video it gives it a little bit more realistic motion by taking the motion from a just a video that is handheld just take the motion from that and apply it to an image or still frame but now you can see there's some fire and that's really well locked in there it also gives the effect of the fire being there because you move the fire as well as the background with the handheld motion Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. I have another one on the After Effects laser gate, which is really fun. It's super easy to make. It only takes uh, five minutes.